I'm your host with the most local 23, joining me for Red Carpet Diaries Chapter 3. Everybody starts somewhere. I'm going to start in my kitchen chasing a raccoon. Last night you rubbed elbows with Hollywood's cream de la cream at Matt Rodriguez's birthday party. This morning, though, you're realizing you might have enjoyed yourself a little too much. You wince even before you open your eyes. The sunlight feels like an ice pick. Uh, I think celebrity booze is somehow boozier. Roll over and fumble around on the nightstand for your phone. Six unread texts, but it's only noon. Okay, that's fair. Yo, but your message is Chaz has been texting every 15 minutes for the last couple hours. <clears throat> Hope you're ready for your auditions today. I lined up some good ones. Yup. Time to get ready for your auditions. Jessica, I'm gonna hope you're in the shower. Please cancel my recent order for a DJ Kaled brand hoverboard. I was really drunk when I bought it. Oops, wrong number, sorry. But for real, get to the studio! <clears throat> Thank God for dry shampoo. Wait, that's actually a thing? I thought that was only for space. Huh. You rush to get yourself ready, stuffing your makeup bag in your purse, and you'll do it on the way. You call for a car through the Drivey app and dash out the door. Drivey? With D-R-Y? You could say a lot of things about me, but you can't say I'm high maintenance. You're sitting on the curb in front of your building, hurriedly applying your makeup as you wait for the Drivey. When <laughs> Seth stoles up and flops down next to you. What's that smell? Like glitter and personal perfume lines, and yes, just a hint of glamorous downward spiral. Yes, yes, I think I've got it. It's it's your aura of fame. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> wow! That burn! Aren't you funny? <laughs> Literally tens of audiences members tell me so. He leans into you, nudging you playfully with the shoulder. I feel like they designed this character about me. <laughs> I try my best. So, how was your first night in town, Iowa? Did you run into everyone you've ever seen in the movies? Actually, yes. Wait, seriously? It's kind of a long story, but my agent got invited to Matt Rodriguez's birthday party. One day, and she's practically Hollywood royalty? How was it? Well, I was out of control amazing. I met Victoria Fontaine. They set up an entire casino. I saw a shooting star with Matt Rodriguez. Mmm, let's try that. I snuck out and got some air, and I bumped into him on the balcony. No way! No way! Are you sure it wasn't a plunging pelican? The L.A. Hayes plays a lot of tricks on the eye. Aren't you, Captain Cynical? Don't you believe in magic at all? I spent last night getting heckled by a drunken businessman from Seattle who was mad that the comedy club didn't have topless dancers. So, no, magic is dead. The city killed it. Yeah, well, it certainly killed the mood last night. Chaz, my agent, caused a scene and got us kicked out of the party. Classic celeb party move. You know I used to wind up at a lot of parties like that. Really? Oh yeah, I was the hottest invite in town. Everyone was after me. What can I say? I was a killer waiter. Best in the game, passed apps like a champion. You work parties like that. I used to, and let me tell you, if you want to see the real Hollywood, go to work for it. Seriously? Gossip. <laughs> you know Cersei Lange? Of course, she's been winning acting awards since before I could walk. She could be the greatest actress of working today. <laughs> yeah, well, a few glasses of Cabernet in her and she decided to work on a new character, Tipsy Cougar, who hits on me. You didn't take her up on the offer? Of a master class in the ways of a mature woman's body? That was a pass. Luckily, the next time I spotted her at the party, she clearly had no idea who I was. A 
unless there was a master class in the coolness of being a grand dame. Whichever. I'm just glad I made it through that shift with my pants on. Wow. I'll never look at Cirque Lodge the same way again. Your drivey pulls up to the cab. The driver rolls down the window and looks it up at you and then leers. You, Jessica. Uh, yes? Tell me this, though. Is that your real name? Yes, why? Need to make sure you weren't the... with the deep state. The CIA is always sending undercover spies to... spy on me. I know too much. Oh, for the love of Christ. Check the license plate. Unfortunately, this is very much a ride. I guess I should get going. Seth pulls you aside and starts whispering urgently. You really gonna get in a car with Captain Conspiracy? Well, do you have an alternative? I don't have another choice. By the time another drivey gets here, I'll be late to my audition. I could drive you. Mmm. In what? Gestures to a limo parked a few spaces away. If I say in style, does that make me as creepy as a drivey guy? I don't think anything could make you that creepy. But the CIA! <laughs> <laughs> They're outside my house right now! But why do you drive a limo? Another part of my glamorous part-time professions. Limo driver to the stars. Or in that case, to the rising star. Hey lady, you get in the car or not? I have to move this car for five minutes to keep the CIA drones from following me. Oh lord. Um, wow. Sir, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass. But thanks, though. You, uh, must have set your GPS wrong. I already have a draw ride. Wait, you're not coming with me? <gasps> I'll still get the fare. And keep it. I'll gladly play twice as much to avoid you. The driver scowls at you, swears under his breath, and speeds off. Suddenly, drones fly overhead. <laughs> Seth escorts you to the limo, and opening the door, bowing elaborately. <clears throat> The interior is all plush leather and polished chrome. You step inside. Your chariot, madame. Thank you, Jeeves. Pip pip. He slides in the driver's seat and drops the divider so you can talk with each other and pulls out of the parking lot. I should open the sunroof and stick my head out. Spread out across the entire back seat, grab a drink from the mini fridge. You pull open the mini-fridge, and inside is an array of sodas, beers, and individual bottles of wine. Feel free to go for a little hair off the dog. Hair of the dog, or off the dog? Of the dog? That doesn't... Off the... No, my way sounds better. What do you mean? You were at Matt Rodriguez's party last night. If you're not hungover, that's frankly miraculous. You have a point, and I'm fresh out of miracles. Something tells me this is a little bit too loud there. You grab a beer out of the fridge and take a swig. It makes you feel a little less shaky. Uh, just for the record, you're welcome to drive me around the limo for free anytime you want. Noted. So, let me get this straight. You're a waiter. Correction, I was a waiter for catered events. And a limo driver. Part-time. What else do you do? I run a lot of bikini car washes down in Siengo. Oh yeah, do people tip well? They do if I shimmy while I'm drawing, and if I tell them to benefit my field hockey team. All for a good cause, right? Obviously. But yeah, I guess I'm kind of run the gamut of service jobs. I've bus tables, bartended for a while. I even did some freelance set painting. Wow. Oh. Which job was your favorite? Who have you driven in limo? What's the best watering hole around here? Mm, what's your favorite job? Hmm, that's a toughie. They've all been so remarkably awful, it's hard to pick just one. 
let me rephrase, which was the least horrible? Honestly? By the pet store. You worked at a pet store. How could you leave that job? The pay was too low to justify staying. But the benefits were pretty amazing. Did they give you insurance or something? No, they had puppies. Tons of puppies. Whole piles of squirmy little fluff bundles. All those different jobs. It sounds... frenetic. Spit it out, Iowa. Spit... what out? The subtext. I'm too focused on the road to read between the lines right now. I just wonder, why not get a real job? You don't think this is a real job? Wow, she went from classy to being a bitch in like two seconds. You know that's not what I meant. It's just obvious you're smart and able to keep a lot of ball balls in the air. Why all the weird part-time things? They can't pay that well? Okay, I'm giving you full warning because it's early in the morning and I don't want to rattle you before your auditions. Warning of what? How much cheese I'm about to pour over this conversation. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you not on comedy like Central or something with that crap? Holy crap. Consider me warned. The reason I have all the weird gigs is freedom. From what? From giving up on my dreams. You remember how I said I was a fellow flyover zoner in my past life? You didn't specify beyond somewhere in the middle, but yes. I wasn't just talking about geographically, which was Cincinnati suburbs, by the way. Hey, fellow Ohioan. It was more about feeling of pointlessness. What do you mean? Both my parents had good jobs. They provided for us. My brother and I got to go to college, and away was the American dream. Okay... But I watched them while I was growing up, and it all just seemed so... empty. They worked all day jobs, they made them miserable, that made them miserable, and for what, a crappy 401k that you're gonna lose in the next big stock crash anyway? It just didn't seem like... enough, you know? Hmm. Oh. And that's why I'm doing YouTube. This is not a glamorous lifestyle, by any means. But, it's fun. And hearing people that I made their day, or they had a really crappy day, and I made them laugh, it brings joy to my life. And the pay! <laughs> oh, the pay ain't there for it, trust me, but it's... It's nice to have that in your life, you know? It gives you more of a meaningful life than, you know... Hello, and thank you for calling Deed. My name is Deed. How can I help you today? You know, it's your crummy customer service job. So, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. I'm so grateful to my parents that I have choices, options. But I want so much more than the life I grew up in. I'm not sure they understand that. Well, they might not, but a lot of people out here would. I definitely do. Just a shot in the dark, but I'd wager that the main thing your parents would want for you is that you do what makes you happy. I know that's true, and I'm sure my parents feel the same way. Or your parents. <clears throat> I hope so. Because at this point, they're already several years deep in explaining how Seth is still finding his path at the family reunions. <laughs> so limo driving get, lets you pursue your dreams. What are they? You really want to know? Of course I do. Making a big stand-up, for one. Writing a screenplay that some kid will see on the big screen one day. I'm out here so I can make something bigger than me, you know? Something to lasts. Jobs like this pay the bills, but if the boss won't let me switch a shift for a stand-up set... There's always another gig out there. I get that. And for the record, I think it's really brave of you. Seriously? Yeah. Thanks, Jessica. I needed that. 
Seth pulls up in front of the first edition. He opens the door for you. What are you doing? Just go with it. And don't make eye contact with me. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> okay, you step out of limo, nodding once at Seth and then head across the lawn. By a studio, a man is waiting, clipboard in hand. I'm here for the audition. Oh, you're Jessica. Was that your limo? Um, yes. Yes, I am, and yes, it was. Ah, I didn't realize how you already had so much work. How impressive! Please follow me right this way. We're so grateful you found the time. You wowed the director showing up in a limo. Hmm. You walk into a studio set up with a number of small stages. Hey, we've been here before! Twice, actually! We will run into some other famous people. If you could stand over here just on the first X. Of course. I'm really excited to have the opportunity to represent. Hand you a script and you glance down at it. No itch antifungal cream? And we're glad to have you. Just take a minute to read over the lines and we'll dive right into the audition, okay? If this goes well, you could be the face of the premier antifungal cream on the market. How exciting. <laughs> when I have an itch... <laughs> I turned to antifungal cream for my itch. <laughs> you read over the script and you're supposed to be dealing with itchy athlete's foot in an important business meeting. Are you ready? I'll read over the lines and the voiceover. Ready as I'll ever be. Then, action! A physical comedy, a dramatic reading. Shit. Well, it's... It's got to be serious. I mean, do keep that in mind. So let's go with dramatic reading. You look off into the distance, eyes heavy with unspoken pain. Whether you're on the field or in the office, athlete, athlete's foot will put you off your game. You look down, face contorted, and whisper. I hope I don't get off on the wrong foot. You stand, trying to hide a wince of, with a pained smile. Are you ready to present to the board... Just give me a moment, boss. I I just need a moment. Suddenly you hunch over with a cry of pain and grip your foot. Glance up, a single tear sliding down your cheek. Damn this athletic foot. Damn it. And scene. That was an interesting interpretation. I'm impressed. So few people realize the tragic side effects of fungal infections. What can I say? I dug deep. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just done. Oh, hell. Jesus. Enjoy the ride, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send your reel on to the folks in charge. Great. If you follow me this way, we're casting on the next project on stage 12. He leads you to your next audition on a soundstage just down the hall. The audition is for... Healing Crystals. Yep, one of my favorite products we sell. Why don't you go ahead and do this one freeform? Pitch it however you like. Um... Hype up the health benefits. Oh, wow. This is a perfect product for me to represent. The casting team looks at you quizzically. I've been into crystal healing for years now. I was using amethyst just this morning to help center me before the auditions. So you're saying you were hung over? What? No. Still drunk then? I'm not sure why you'd think. He frowns and raises a hand to cut you off, shaking his head. It's fine. We know not all of our representatives will actually understand the specific benefits to gain to be gained from various crystals. What? What? Like... Okay... But please don't waste our time with lies. I'm holding Aquamarine, they don't fool me anyways. 
Of course. If you follow me to soundstage four, we have one more audition for you this afternoon. Okay, well, you guys learned from my mistake there. <coughs> I guess uh, at it, having them as quote-unquote accessories is better. Yeah, down the hall together, he opens the door into a fox living room full of... Trash? Seriously? I'm auditioning for trash. It's a Breezeway commercial. You know the room freshener? Doesn't smell like anyone used it in here. Of course! This is a set for Plagued by Odors intro. Once you spray the breeze away, we'll do the rest on the green screen in the corner. Work in some cartoon wildflowers or whatever in a post. How uh, method of you. You read over the script a few times. Once the director is satisfied, he hands you a can of breeze away. All right, let's run through this thing. This whole thing of the spray. Oh my god, go Rambo in the trash. <laughs> oh. mm. I mean, I don't think these jobs really matter, but um, I really want to go Rambo on trash. <clears throat> Do some spray ballet. You stand up on a tiptoe. I'm thinking of a Glade commercial while doing this. Leaning over delicately to spray a pile of dirty laundry. What this room needs is a breath of fresh air. You arbiquis towards a stack of pizza boxes and twirl around towards a pile of coffee grounds. Do these people know that coffee grounds are actually a natural uh, deodorizer? Just saying. <clears throat> you don't see the scattered fruit rinds on the floor. Ah! You slide around wildly, landing with a crash and a mound of athletic gear. Is there some trickster god I've wronged or something? Let's take that again from the top. Maybe a little more restrained this time. Definitely. Yeah, because she was supposed to avoid the trash that you people left on the floor, right? You wind up a third audition and the director leads you to the back exit. Thanks so much for coming in. How'd I do? You were fine. You know, average, passable, whatever. It's ads for creams, crystals, and cleaning spray. A, B is all we need. You did okay. Yay? Look, I appreciate you coming out here. You wouldn't believe how many actresses act as though these sorts of auditions are beneath them. Not me. I'm thrilled to be the face of athlete's foot or healing crystals or gross smells. That's the attitude we're looking for. We'll be in touch. You try to force a smile. Can't wait. Hmm. I feel like Dean right now. <clears throat> you know, that's enough internet for today. And he closes the laptop. Yeah. You head out onto the studio back lot doors from multiple other buildings open onto the Ashfold patch. Across the lot, you spot a bench and sitting on it sipping an iced coffee is... Who? Oh! I remember her! Yeah, 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 the pretty girl, okay, the pretty girl from the party you once hang out with in the casino. Hey, what are you doing here? Jessica, hey, apparently Small World isn't just a culturally insensitive theme park ride, huh? I'm on a coffee break, what about you? Just finish up some auditions. For a bunch of jobs, I'm, I'm not actually sure I want a buck. <laughs> that good, huh? Mm, take your pick. Do you want to hear my pitch for healing powers of rose quartz or antifungals? <laughs> oh, wow. That does sound pretty brutal. If it makes you feel any better, I've spent the day trying to remind Marcus that causing the actors to melt down isn't actually a good thing. Which, of course, got me chewed out again, because it's my fault that his vision will drive away every actor on set. Wait, did you say Marcus? Mm, my boss. You met him last night? Your boss is Marcus. Von Groot? Yeah. Did I not introduce you? Sorry, he was on a tier. No, not officially. Yeah, it was the guy who, uh... 
the Swede? Who was... I must go! We must leave now! God, I would have actually... I would have acted totally different if I had known I was talking to Europe's most famous director. <laughs> yeah, well, he's trying to make it into Hollywood now, which makes him my problem. Who would have thought I'd make it all the way to assistant director and 90% of my job would be babysitting? I'll let you in on a secret. I'm calling this my coffee break, but really it's a tactical retreat. Oh, yeah? Mm. I need a few minutes to plan my next move on the ongoing Control Marcus without him knowing I'm doing a campaign. That's amazing. What's your next move? Does it ever let up? Uh, what's your next move? I don't know. If you're ready for this information, you haven't even gone through basic training. You can trust me, I'm a world-class secret keeper. Let's just say it involves a gentle sleep aid and this coffee. Oh, you tamper with a man's coffee, come on. You don't tamper with a coffee. And then I call in Clooney and his lovable band of rogues and we clear out the safe. Obviously. Tisha looks at the time on her phone and sighs heavily. Was today especially bad? Uh, no, I was just hung over enough from all the usual quirks. Felt like water torture. You should have seen him on his last film, Obscura. Mm, we were filming in this tiny town in Eastern Europe. He'd constantly make these completely impossible demands. What do you mean they don't have sensory deprivation tanks? How else will she access the repressed memory she needs for the part? Oh, man. Mm, the streets and the old quarter are too small for the camera angle I require. Have someone enlarge them, Tega. That's a simple overnight fix, right? Obviously. Oh, this was my favorite. I have a craving for one of those strange sandwiches that am the Americans eat. What are they called? Pulled pigs? Oh, please have one delivered from my preferred restaurant, uh, Wilshire by Five Sharp. My dietary schedule is not to be trifled with. Does he understand the space-time continuum? The list of things Marcus fails to understand could fill a space-time continuum. Oh man, that's... That is horrific in and of itself. Tisha rolls her eyes and slaps both of her hands on her thighs and stands up. All right, enough kachiving. Marcus is probably already yelling at the nearest human-shaped object, assuming I'll hear it telepathically. Thanks for this, Jessica. It's so easy to talk to you. I've only known you, what, 12 hours? But I already feel like we have a really strong connection. Hmm, I feel it too. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Ooh, let's flirt. That's not the only thing I feel. If I had met someone like you back in Iowa, I'm not sure I'd, I'd have ever left. Actually, I'd probably never even make it out of the bedroom. Hmm, what would a nice Mediterranean girl like you be doing in bed all day? If you'd like, I could give you a demonstration. Hmm. Now that's an interesting idea. I've always been a very hands-on learner. Hmm. There's some shouting from nearby studio. Deja sighs. I really need to get back in there, so... But I'm so dreading it. I know that feeling. Hmm. I need something to look forward to. Otherwise, I might actually bite Marcus's head off before the day is over. What would you say to a girl's night out? I heard about this awesome new club in DTLA. We could put on some of our hottest outfits, order some stupidly expensive cocktails, and tear up the dance floor. Hmm. Christmas gifts. Say you'll come with me. Oh! That is a mighty fine outfit. Want to go clubbing? Hmm. Um, Christmas gifts, here you go. I'm so in. Let's do it. Do it good. That sounds amazing. Oh, thank you. You'll be my motivation. Hmm. Make sure to tell Marcus he literally owes me his head. Gladly. And so, later that night. In your apartment, you put on your favorite club look. Damn. 
I look good. You've unlocked the subtly sexy outfit. We don't even get to see the full damn thing. Come on! If we... Oh, just screw you. You head downstairs where Tisha is pulled up in a town car. Hey! Wow. You look amazing. Mm, so do you. You are absolutely stunning. Ready to live it up? I was born ready. 20 minutes later, you pull up to a sleek-looking club in the middle of downtown. The streets around you are mostly empty, but there's a line out the door of the building. Are we gonna get in? Here, follow me. She strides up to the bouncer, ignoring the glares of the people waiting in line. We're on the list. It should be under Tisha Desai. The bouncer peers at the clipboard and smiles. Wow, these, the, the, you know, I'm having to up my grammar game lately. Ingrati ingratitudingly at the two of you. Welcome, Mr. Sa, Miss Jessica. Right this way, ladies. I'm gonna have to up my grammar game. The two of you look into the club's sleek modern decor gives it its chic artist law feel. Bars line each wall, and in the center of the room, dozens of beautiful people are dancing and flirting. How'd you do that? It looks like this is the hottest club in town. There's some perks to working for Marcus von Groot. Mm, so glad I get to enjoy them. So, what do we do first? Mm, let's kick off the night with... Shot, 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 shot. We should start things off with a bang, don't you think? Have I ever told you that you're the best, Jessica? Not nearly often enough. The two of you head to the bar and order a round of their specialty shot of the night. Ready for a silver anesio bullet? As a great actress, I happen to know I was born ready. The two of you throw back the shots. Oh, it burns so good. We are definitely living our hashtag best lives. Let's get something a little less uh, immediate for the road. You order a round of vodka tonics and look out over the room. The two of you head towards a high top table perched on a ledge overlooking the dance floor. You're, you've barely had a chance to sip your drinks when a highly polished man in a slim fitting suit strides over. You girls look lonely. Let me to offer my uh, <coughs> services. Your services. I didn't think this was that kind of glum. Huh? That uh, Tasha play nice. Clearly he's just looking for some extra cash for mowing lawns. Aren't you too funny? Oh, we like to think so. That's good. I like a clever woman. I like two of them even more, especially in the bedroom. Oh, you cheesy, just... Ugh. Ugh, I'm dry heaving right now. Trick him into buying us around. You giggle as girlishly as you can manage. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so naughty. I just know what I like, baby. Oh, you know what I like? What? Another round of drinks for me and my friend. I'm still feeling so sober, full of pesky inhibitions. I'm on it. <laughs> you are a loser, and <laughs> I'm just having to say it. He rushes over to the bar, the two of you finish your drinks, and he returns with two more. Here you are, ladies. Now what do you say we get out of here and into my bed? Spoiler alert, it's a water bed. <laughs> Take the drinks, then turn to Tisha, closing him out with your body. Oh, I say no. Mm, I agreed. That's definitely a hard no. What? But I just got you drinks. Mm, thanks for that. We are super thirsty. So thirsty, like literally thirsty. Mm, not thirsty for dudes with uh, terrible pickup lines, however. Whatever. Like you could ever get a guy like me. I was an extra in Robocars. Oh, 
That movie came out six years ago! And it wasn't even good. Wave at his back as he storms off. That was masterful. What can I say? Iowa may not have clubs like this, but it has plenty of guys like that. The two of you finish your drinks, feeling pleasantly tipsy. Oh man, it's happening. What's happening? I'm feeling the music. She stands and starts wiggling her hips. Feeling it through my whole body. She reaches down and pulls you out. Oh no, now I'm feeling it. There's only one cure for this terrible plague. What's that? More cowbell. <laughs> Dancing, obviously. Two of you move on to the middle of the dancing crowds, and after a few songs, the DJ puts on something slower. Tisha moves closer. Dance with me? She puts a hand on your hip and drawing you towards her. Mmm. Am I gonna get shit for this? I got a lot of shit when I first started with Caitlyn and, and our main character in, in Freshman. Remember, this is just flirting. I still have an open mind for Matt as well as uh, the limo driver. So, don't give me shit. It's flirting. We'll go with she's bi for now. How about that? Kiss her. Lean closer, gently cupping your, her cheek with your hand. I think I'm done dancing. Mm, I think I am too. You lean in and kiss her passionately in the middle of the dance floor. Wow. Wow is right. The two of you move into a corner, hands caressing each other's bodies, lips finding lips, ears, and necks. God, I'm so glad you did that. You made out with Tisha at the club. One of us had to. Eventually the song ends and you reluctantly pull apart. The two of you dance to a few more songs and eventually the club starts to clear out. I should probably get going. Me too. Chaz probably has a few psoriasis auditions for me tomorrow. Maybe a deodorant if I'm lucky. That reminds me, I meant to ask you this afternoon, but I was so miserable at the idea of more Marcus that it totally slipped my mind. Ask me one. A part open up in the movie I'm working on, Tinder Nothings? I honestly think you'd be perfect for it. Seriously? Yeah, we're auditioning girls tomorrow night. Can you make it? Uh, I would so gain points with Marcus if I managed to scout the part for him. I'll be there. Awesome. Hmm. The two of you head outside and call cars. Once they pull up, you give Tisha a big hug. This was so much fun. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you for coming. This was exactly what I needed. And keep your calendar open, because we are definitely doing it again soon. For you, it's clear. You get into a cab and head for home. Once you're back in your apartment, you notice a text from Chaz asking how things went, and you call him. So, tell me everything. Were you sparkling and witty and over-the-top beautiful at the auditions? Doubtful. It was really hard to tell how I did. The products were so, um, unique. But when he showed me out, the director sounded really positive, so fingers crossed. I'm sure you nailed them! Oh, one more thing happened. Do you know Tisha Desai? Well, we met last night at the party. You mean tonight? Anyway, she's a... Uh... Oh, the party bo Never mind, just keep going. She's a... She's an assistant director, and she asked me to come to an audition for the movie she's on. What's the movie? Um, I think it was called Tender Nothings? Tender Nothings? Are you serious? It's the most... It's one of the most hyped movies! Seriously? This is great news! Way to go! Like, you'll need at least a week to prepare. We should run through all kinds of scenes, get your hair done, maybe hire a makeup artist. It's tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if that will be possible. Why not? Because the audition is tomorrow night? Sweet mother of God! 
<laughs> well, you managed to get a part in one of the hottest movies in Hollywood. Keep playing to find out. So, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of sucks. Um, because I did the diamonds, which detours me from the normal path. I thought I'd do it as, like, a holiday Christmas present to everybody. Um, because typically I go through the normal editions, and then eventually I'll get around to diamonds, right? So, my question is, is, is let me know in the comment section below, um, what, did Tisha still reach out to you regardless? Did she, like, call you up or something, like, without going to the club? Like, uh, instead of you taking the diamond edition, she was just like, hey, you know, by the way, uh, we do have an open part, you know, maybe you should come by an audition tomorrow or something. Uh, let me know, um, how different it was. I'm sure the diamond edition, the kissing, and the limo were completely different, but, um, yeah, let me know. It, like I said, it kind of sucks, and I don't want to do it often. Um, I'm thinking about maybe um, creating two accounts. I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing ideas around. One account will be a normal one, and then one account will be a diamond one. I'm trying to catch up on chapters and everything so I can focus more on other content that you folks will enjoy. Um, I'd like to bounce back to the letter for at least a couple more videos. Um, I really like that one. It's a great visual novel, which, by the way, um, you should check out. It's right now 33% off, um, unless you are playing it on, on, like, Apple or iOS. I'm sure they have some bargain on there for, for buying um, certain, like, aspects. It's really cheap. It's free, but the you can play a certain characters. Anyway, I don't want to talk all about that but now, but it's a really great app. You should, you should at least play the, the free playthrough, or at least check out the videos on my channel. Um... But yeah, I'm, I, there's so much work, as you can tell on my channel. Last week, we got a record-breaking 31 videos done um, in one week. That's our highest hour ever, so I'm proud of that. A lot of YouTubers typically only average 10 to, like, 15 videos at most, so we're we're breaking some records here. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad of that, because I like to do quality content and try and do as much as possible for you guys. Um... So let me know what you think. Let me know what happened. Um, also, head to the description below. There's a Discord server. You can hang out. You can chat the whole nine years. You can talk about these things. Spoilers, links, things, whatever you want to share, whatever you want to talk about. Um, also, there's some social media links down there, as well as a few links to support me and my content. It's always greatly appreciated. With that being said, I hope you all did enjoy. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Peace.